Charles Jordan uh, was a good name to beat. Um, and that's kind of the incentive behind taking the fight. Um, I thought uh, stylistically it was a good matchup for me. Um, the only thing that was, you know, kind of in the way, in the way of it was just to wait. And um, I told him, hey, you know, since I'm taking a short notice, is there any way he'll do 150? And they were really looking for someone to fill in. And um, I think they had gone – uh, my manager said that they had gone through a whole list of people who just uh, turned the fight down. So uh, I think they uh, made their way back to me again and uh, and said that they would be willing to take the fight at 150. I mean, it's only four pounds and we're both featherweights. It's not like I'm a 55er trying to ease my way down to featherweight. It's I'm a featherweight and it's just like a little short notice and uh, I was a little big. And so I asked them to, you know, negotiate on one of the spot or one of the things for me and uh, they, they were willing to do that. So um, I appreciate that on their end and uh, was able to get the job done. Have you heard from Steven Peterson? Any response? No, nah, man, that guy's been ducking me so hard. It's ridiculous. Like, and I'm not one to talk shit. Usually uh, uh, if, if Steven would have told me, Hey man, uh, you know, my manager says it's a bad fight. My coach has a bad fight. Uh, or just be like, Hey man, I'm not, I'm busy. I got this going on or this going on. I'd be like, yo man, nothing but respect, bro. You're the, you're the same as me. You know, we're both chasing our dream road, both fighting the UFC uh, and trying to do, you know, trying to do our best. And so you got to, you know, you, I take in consideration that some matchups aren't going to be there and some people are, are not going to take the matchup. And uh, and that's surprising to me because uh, I've said no to my manager, uh, like literally never. Like they offer me a fight and it's like the next day I'm like, yep, we'll take the fight. Um, you know, obviously you want to watch some of the tape and stuff, but it's usually a yes. I don't think I've ever said no to a fight except for, Charles Jordan, I did say no because of the weight. I was 30 pounds over. And I said, hey, I don't want to kill myself to make weight. I, you know, my back's not against, the, you know, uh, the wall for the UFC. It's not like I, I needed it and it was forced to take the fight. But the next day, I'm the one who messaged my manager and said, hey, is he willing to take it at 150? Because if he's willing to do that, I'll do it. So I was, I was still pursuing the fight, even though I did say no immediately. But, uh, yeah, Steven Peterson – I don't know, man. He just uh, w just ignores me. He hasn't even given me an answer, which is kind of the frustrating part. Uh, I've DM'd him, and I don't I don't know if he's read it or not, but I posted on a on a photo as a comment saying check your DM. So I know he's seen it. I know he knows what's going on. He just uh, I don't think he wants to fight me, and you know I you know, I wouldn't want to fight myself either. You know I guess so. Uh, I guess uh, he's just ducking me, and, and I don't know if that fight's ever gonna happen. I wanted to ask you about somebody else who was on the same card who you have shared the cage with. What did you think about Patty's debut? There was a lot of hype behind him and he went in there and did his thing. And is that some, a fight that you would want back under the, now in the UFC banner? Um, obviously like fighting him back in the day, it was kind of biased. I went over to London, fought him on a card on for cage warriors and the guy who, who promotes and manages him, uh, also promotes and was matchmaking for cage warriors. And I had no idea until after the fight that that was the situation. So I was pretty upset about that um, specifically. And but that's not necessarily Patty's fault. That's his manager. That's that guy's fault. Like I kind of, kind of seems like a slime ball to me. Um, but uh, I, you know, he's fighting at 55. I'm a featherweight. I'm going to stay at featherweight. If he wants to, you know, if he, he said he was going to clean out the 55 division and then clean out the 45 division. So if he ever comes down to 45, I'll be sitting here waiting for him. And that is a fight that intrigues me, you know. Um, we're going to get unbiased judging out here. Um, but, you know, as much as I say there's unbiased, unbiased judging, you know, they gave him a uh, they gave him the bonus, and I didn't get any bonus. And I think it was a little biased towards the European guys that night with bonuses because I felt like I was dipping in both pools. I could have been fight of the night or performance of the night, and, and I didn't get either one of them. And, um, you know, Patty got one, and I felt like his fight was kind of sloppy. They were just – slinging him and, and and he got the better end of it but uh uh you know more power to him it's not his decision um you know these are things that are happening to him uh not by him necessarily so i can't be mad at him and you know i seen him in the uh, hotel a few times and he seemed uh he seemed pretty cool you know we got along and uh um but yeah if he ever wanted to drop to 45 and fight me i, I would definitely take that for him.